Hello. It's possible that some of you watching have heard of or seen these virtual uh, Bitmoji classrooms that are floating around the web. In this video, I hope to show you how to take your virtual classroom that you could build in Google Slides and then post it in Schoology as not just an update, but as an announcement. So it pins itself at the top of your course. You can even embed it so that it's interactive and that your students and families can interact with your virtual classroom. So uh, I will also release uh, more support if you are a viewer and this might be the first time you've ever seen or heard of such a thing and you're going, wow, you know, how do I design, how do I create something like this myself? Um, stay tuned, I'll have some more um, support out there for that. Uh, Alright, in your Schoology course, you would start in updates and what we're going to do is, uh, instead of posting an update, we're, we're going to go down here to Resource. We're going to select Resource. Select Apps. And then select that Google Drive Resource app. And then I want to search for my file. I want to select the one I want. And then click Import. And the key is finding Import Embed. That's what I want. Now, in my experience, in some cases, this does not appear, and it's, it doesn't even appear that it's an option. And if that's the case, what you need to do is go to your materials section and just generate a, a page, add a page. We're not even going to actually add it. You just want to bring this up and then uh, access uh, Insert Content, Google Drive Resource App, search for the file. Kind of the same process here. We're going to select it and then select import. Now, I don't have to do anything, but I think this is kind of a glitch in the system. What I found is just by making that appear, and then I close this out, I'm not even going to create the page. I don't need it. I want to go back to my updates, select resource, apps, Google Drive resource app, same thing. I'm going to search for my file, select it and then that import embed will appear. Um, that's been my experience, that in uh, some cases this doesn't appear, and if that happens to you, just follow the steps that I just showed you. And then I want to embed that. And again, I don't want to post it as just an update. I want to select the, the bell, which means I'm going to post it as an announcement. That announcement is going to get pinned to the top of my Schoology course. And anywhere that students or parents, families navigate, in your Schoology course, this announcement will appear. And you'll see it's interactive now. This is, uh, this is an interactive link, a mail link, if they want to send me mail. This will take you to, uh, in, in my case, my, my blog, my website. Contact me at Twitter. It takes you to my YouTube channel, uh, Schoology. There's some other links. Uh, this, these are pretty cool. Um, this, is, um, this is my humble attempt at a virtual classroom. Uh, I will have some more uh, inspiration provided in some other videos. Uh, while we're here, let's look at, this is uh, from Elizabeth Sanchez. She's a foreign language teacher for Berkeley County Schools. And uh, this is Elizabeth's example with her permission. Uh, she allowed me to share. It's pretty awesome. Almost everything you see here is a, is a learning opportunity for kids. So it links them to content that they could, um, they could utilize. So this is pretty cool. You'll see she even linked to games here. Gim Kit is pretty awesome if you've never seen that. Senior Wooly. Uh, pretty cool. So you can take those and embed them in your course, and then they become interactive to uh, your families and to students. Pretty neat. Thank you.